we are back, and we just finished watching 2021's Jungle Cruise, currently streaming on Disney Plus with a premium subscription, but also in theaters. This is based on a theme park ride, another movie based on a theme park ride. I think Not Disney's going to do good. all of them. Not as good as Pirates of the Caribbean or the original Pirates of the Caribbean, but this was this held its own as far as I was concerned. Yeah, it was fun. It, it was, was a, a fun, fun summer movie. It was really great. A swashbuckling adventure. It certainly, certainly was. It had really great characters, a good tight script, beautiful locales, even though I think 90% of them didn't really exist, and just really good interplay between the, the main leads, Emily Blunt and Dwayne. The Rock Johnson. Mm -hmm. I know you wanted to get your wrestling in there. <laughs> um, he hasn't wrestled in a long time. He hasn't. Wrestled. Although he is Evelyn. apparently the rumor is he is coming back for something if they could work out the insurance. <laughs> Who's gonna want to risk The Rock doing some stupid WWE? Uh, they're thing? gonna have to pony up a lot of money. At least fifty mil. Yeah, because that guy. I, I think they're desperate. That's probably why they're firing everyone. Oh, uh, okay. I guess that makes sense now. Bringing it back to this movie, though, the story follows the Emily Blunt character. What was her name again? Lily something. Lily something. McGregor? That was the brother's name. Lily yeah. Houghton. Houghton, yeah. And the brother's name was McGregor Houghton. Okay. Who is the daughter, I guess, of an adventurer? They were part of that society. Yeah, like her. I guess her dad was like one of those guys who would just go off to darkest Africa and come back with some sort of cultural heritage. <laughs> Appropriation. <laughs> um, uh, there is the backstory of the tree of the moon. Is that what it was called? The tree of the moon? The I know that the... Or the tears no, tears. The, the tears, tears of the moon. That was the flowers that came from the tree. Right. It was called the tears of the moon. It was the, the tree, moon. but it was the tears. It was like some sort right. of magic tree that could... The, the flower Heal petals anything. could cure anything. But apparently the... Like they had the flowers only existed when the moon shined on it for a brief spell. for a brief time. So yeah. once the moon shined off it, if you didn't pick those leaves off real fast, you you're were, just out of luck. You're out of luck until I guess the next full yeah. moon. Yeah, and it had to pass through that opening. Yeah, over yeah, the yeah. whatever. And, yeah. Is it? Yeah, I mean, the the the, the CG you know, and everything is very beautiful. The the sets that they created, the ancient temples and gorgeous. The tree was very pretty. Uh, yeah. Everything was pretty. I, I would I would probably say the only CG that sort of let me down a little bit was the leopard. Really? Yeah. I knew you were gonna say that. It the, didn't. Let, I didn't notice anything wrong with it, but I just think you're gonna talk about the. It wasn't like Walking Dead. Um. No, it was it was good, but it was like there was it, it wasn't as polished as I as I've I've seen other CG animals. Was it better than Dumbo? No, it wasn't. Dumbo was excellent. Dumbo CG was spot, spot on, on, perfect. Yeah. yeah, I see. Maybe maybe I didn't maybe it's pick the fur. That up, but you're more into the details than I am. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I pay attention to a lot of CG stuff like that. Yeah, but otherwise, I I thought the the CG was pretty good. They did a decent job on all the supernatural elements, and and uh, I liked like this. <clears throat> you could definitely see this was very similar in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, and that there was the like the mystical bad guy, right. I guess, and he had like a crew of guys. Mm -hmm. These guys had a little bit more personality, I would say, sure. especially especially the B guy. Yeah. He thought he was delicious. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like they they each had a little bit more personality whereas in in Pirates of the Caribbean the only one that really had any personality was was Jeffrey Rush. Was Jeffrey Rush. Everybody else was sort of there that you could tell they were standard members of the crew because they were in many shots but well, you never you never really goofy guys that sort of got more interplay in Pirates. Yeah, yeah, there were those two guys. But they still weren't as dynamic as Jeffrey Rush's Barbosa. Right. That yeah. guy was like off the chain. I think maybe it was just that there was a lot. There were a lot more bad guys in in uh, Pirates. Pirates of the Caribbean. True, true. Uh, well, this guy's crew got whittled down to like four, right? Yeah, he only had four dudes. Yeah. <laughs> because those were the guys that survived. Correct. Yeah. Some like they were healed by the pedals. By, by I the, think. By the time they yeah, by the time they got theirs, uh, that the majority of that guy's crew was dead. I'm going to go around the room and get impressions. Olive G, what did you think of this movie? 
I thought it was good. Did you have a favorite scene? The big was it in the beginning when that guy scene walks by and he hears that noise and the other guy's like waving it like because he thinks the guy farted? <laughs> Because I think we all chuckle. It is a that. kids' movie, so there has to be some kind of flatulence humor. Fart joke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have a favorite scene or no? Um, I kind of. I kind of forgot about it when you were talking the lawn, so. Oh. So, I wasn't so, gone that long. So it's you, all of us forgotten the entire movie. <laughs> we watched it maybe, all right, maybe a half hour ago. G, and maybe maybe this will spark some other stuff. What about you, G? Did you have a favorite scene in the movie? Mm, no. Did you have a favorite character? McGregor. McGregor. McGregor was great. Jack Whitehall. Jack Whitehall. Yeah. Yeah. He played a good part. Character played Emma character. Brother. brother, and just I guess comic relief. Yeah, but really yeah, well yeah. done. It really, wasn't really like well over done. the top yeah. and, and whatnot. Edgar Ramirez, hardly in this film. Not really, but he he served his part. He, he was did. he was the supernatural element. I thought Jesse Plemons was great. Jesse Plemons was good. Definitely his grown scene. into his head. His, I think I've said that joke before. His scene was his exit. Yeah, Ramirez wasn't really. No, he wasn't really in it, but like I said, he he, he did his part. He served his purpose. It, it was like uh, you definitely wanted some sort of a, I guess like you, you're adding, you're just talking about curses and and mystical flowers and stuff. You got to have some kind of supernatural oh, thing okay. in there, and I, I think that served its purpose. But Jesse Plemons was the A team bad guy in this thing. Yeah, he was the guy that definitely felt the most threatening in that. He was there from the uh, beginning. I, he looked like he would probably kill. I mean, every Whoever, all the bad guys looked like they would kill anybody, but Jesse Plemons had sort of that that cruelness. Yeah. Like uh, uh, the conquistador. Uh, Aguirre. Aguirre. He was like kind of driven mad by this quest, and he had his reasons. Sure. The guy just Jesse Plemons. Jesse war. Plemons just was like, yeah, I want to make every, I want to make Germany strong and and. Foreshadowing. Oh, this takes place during the first Great War. Yes, two years into the Great War, apparently. So yeah, he's he's like trying to find this uh, medicine of immortality to make Germany the the greatest army on the planet. And almost succeeds. Oops, is that a spoiler? I guess. Well, the bad guy always almost succeeds. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and plus, this is Disney. I mean, if you think this is going to go any anyway, but for the good guys, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, it's not really a spoiler to say the good guys win. Yeah, at the end. Uh, it is a kids' movie. It is a Disney movie. Uh, what do you think? Ten and up? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, even even, not even cursing. There might be mild scenes of peril, as they say. There's but, peril, there's what they call action violence, or no, sorry, adventure violence, which generally involves a lot of people getting bonked with stuff. There is somebody who gets stabbed, but uh, there's like no blood. There's, there's I, no. I don't think there's a drop of blood in this movie. No, it says it's rated PG-13, but I feel like 10, like 10 and up is fine. Yeah, I... Like even younger, e e even, even the supernatural monster guys... Not the, scary. They're not that they're not that scary and they're kind of like cool because each one has his own little thing. There's like the tree guy and there's the, the guy made out of bees and the guy made out of mud and yeah. the yeah. guy made out of snakes. It's it's sort of like jungle creature men. And, yeah. and they're well designed and like I said, they got a little bit of personality. I mean, how scary of a ghost can you be when you, you basically are just saying, I'm delicious? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't think, I mean, but again, uh, I guess you have to have warning labels for people. I feel like maybe eight and up. Yeah, I got, maybe some really sensitive like little very, kids very would, small would, children might would not. get like a Plus, little freaked out. Plus, this is a long out. movie. It's two hours and seven minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's not a short movie, but I think for maybe the little older children and up as far and also families, I think this is definitely, definitely a, a fun summer treat. Did you have a favorite character and scene? Favorite characters, I would say The Rock and Emily Blunt. Yeah. They were both just excellent. 
both of them did a great job. Both of them looked like they were having a hell of a lot of fun. Favorite scene? Jesse Plemons. You laugh. I heard you. <laughs> I heard you. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be my favorite scene? You also laugh when he's talking about the tribe with the woman laser and they're all like... Oh, yes. Oh, that was another thing that was like <laughs> funny about it because... It takes place during what, like early nineteen hundred, early nineteen hundred, like around the around the First World War. So apparently, the most the one the thing that people find unbelievable about this entire tale of you know adventure, adventure and mysticism and and undead creatures walking the earth is that a woman, <laughs> a woman you know did all the work. They're like, rah, 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 rah. Yes, yes. the adventurer society is just. Scandalized Outrage. by yeah. the fact that Emily Blunt did what they failed to do because they're a bunch of. I thought I, I, I agree men. with you. I think the two main leads were great for completely different reasons. Emily Blunt's character was super dynamic. Her, her introduction is so fun and just. I think yeah. while we were watching it, I think you, I completely co-signed on your description of this being a swashbuckling adventure. There's shades of Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, looking for like these priceless things in the world and the adventure that ensues and interesting characters. There's also, I thought about the mummy while we were watching in this. Yeah. The Brendan Fraser, the Brendan Fraser mummy. one with just the dynamic, the kind of love hate relationship between the two main the two leads. leads. Yeah. And then just like the, the funny sidekick brother, right? Funny John, sidekick brother. John yeah. Hanna, yeah, Hanna. absolutely. Yeah. This, Same this definitely that. bars a lot from the mummy, uh, even ancient cities and uh, booby traps and all that sort and of, curses all that sort of stuff. stuff and like curses. That, supernatural. And then also again, Pirates of the Caribbean. Of the I Caribbean. think there's just, there's so much in this. That's just big time summer fun. Just really, really well done. So I think that, if you're looking for something to occupy the time and haven't seen it, I absolutely recommend it. I I believe it's out in theaters. It's probably in theaters and on Disney. And, and it's on. I Disney think that's Plus. how they're releasing um, everything now. Disney, you got to pay. It's what was it? Thirty bucks. Twenty nine. Thirty bucks. Yeah. So yeah, rounds it up to thirty. Yeah. If but you got a, if you got a bunch of investment. kids and you want to see some fresh, entertaining adventure. That definitely yeah. Fork over that money. Whole, you're you're gonna save a ton. Right. You're not going to the theater. Right. And be safe because yeah. we are still in a pandemic. It seems. Yep. Masks are back. Masks are back. So everyone out there, if you are going to venture to the theater, please be safe. Please make sure that you've gotten vaccinated, mm -hmm. and still keep your mask on and socially distance. But if you do decide to venture out. Go check out Disney's... Do we give any numbers? Jungle Cruise. Yes, we will in a second. So, oh. Olive G, favorite character? Did you have a favorite character? None. None? None. Interesting. What about the leopard? Leopard. Proxima. Proxima. You don't like her? No. No? Okay. <laughs> How about Lily? Did you like Lily? She was strong. She was smart. She was clever. She knew how to pick locks. No. <laughs> Did you like this movie? Yeah. Okay. I didn't like Did you have his favorite scene? No. No. If you were going to give this movie a number between 1 and 10, what would you give it? 8. An 8? So you liked it a lot. Yeah. Hmm. I'm surprised that you can't pick a favorite character and scene, but that's okay. How about you, Gigi? Uh, this movie gets a 6.5. Pass really? on grade. You didn't really like it, G? The ending ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the ending ruin everything? You heard her rationale. No, we can't stop oh, it. Oops. That's why I didn't Cut say it. Out. it. Cut, Cut it out. out. <gasps> okay, so yes. The, how about we'll just say you didn't like it because of a bit of romance. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The anti-romance in the, at the table. If that romance wasn't there. What would you think of this movie? What would you have given it? Uh, I'd probably also give it an eight. Okay, so it was great, but then Cooties entered the picture. Yes, sure. And she okay. hates. She hates any kind of romance. 
Although in some movies, I feel like it, it works. You know what? It didn't bother me here because I really think Where's this. Where's Bubble Up like Soda Pop? It worked. But. Right. But I think even here no. with like the antagonism between awful. the two characters, like, awful. it was fun. Yeah, I, I felt I felt sort of fall in love. I felt it was earned. I don't think the uh, the issue that my daughter has with it is as valid as she does. I think once once characters are of a certain level, I guess you could say <laughs> it that that stuff like that doesn't really matter. It does to me. Okay. That's creepy. Okay. So. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. we're, we're trying to be very cagey here. Yeah. I see. Vague. I I would I would probably give this like a seven. I too would give it a seven. I think yeah. overall it's a good strong piece. There are where there were some parts where I think things could have been tweaked or changed a bit. But there were, there was once there was a scene where the music was just like, what is going on <laughs> with this song? I think it was like like off the flashback or whatever. And suddenly it was just like this sort of like guitar, like electric guitar song. And it was, really? I was like, what is this song? <laughs> I didn't why, notice it. why is this here? It was, I didn't it, notice it, it was, are you becoming me? Like, I, I'm such for a the, grandpa for, with this for music. The, and for the this, movies. it, it like really, it took me out of the scene because it was just yeah, like no so out of place. It was like, <laughs> what is going on? It's, it was almost like it was, you have like all this orchestral sort of stuff going on, the, the typical adventure sort of music, and then suddenly it's just like, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's just like, what? And why? And, and why during guitar, this scene? This is this is way out of place. And it was like it wasn't even like good electric guitar music. It was like. It, it was like something that we could probably find on the internet for free to use on our Possibly. podcast. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. It was, it was, that was the, that, that was the one thing I was like, what? Maybe okay. they had a low budget, so they just No, they got that. all the money on Disney this money. They Come got on. tons of budget. Yeah. You saw that all those. I mean, not effects. to dampen the review, but I think I read that Emily Blunt might also get on the Sue and Disney train. Oh, really? What? Yeah. What are you going to do? I don't know. You want to, I mean. I don't know. Apparently if, now Emma Stone is upset because Cruella got the same treatment. Well, what are you oh, going to do? did Emma Stone are, play Estella? Yeah. Are you, are you just going to like release it in theaters now when, I mean, the box office is, is going to be crap no, crap, matter, no what. matter what do you really think that people are that desperate to go see your movie but i think that they're gonna the, like risk the their, issue their is, children i think what the issue is is that well i mean this isn't disney's fault this is like the person's lawyer's fault it's like you should really cross the t's and dot the i's we've oh, been no, nobody could have, nobody could have suspected this i'm i understand that but you know what right before it goes out you make sure you go back to the lawyer and say, you make sure that this contract benefits me. I think the, by then the contracts were already signed and done. Like all, all of these films were supposed to come out a long time ago. That's right, actually. And like all of these contracts were signed before anybody even knew what the hell COVID was. But they should have gone, but still, like the law, the legal people representing the actors you, should have just you, gone back to the company and said, listen, you know what? you're Disney. And, and, and I agree with you. In good faith, they should have been like, as soon as they decided, okay, we're going to release this in a different way, they should have went back to all the parties involved and been like, listen... Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Part of I know part of your do that. No, it no. That, that's the thing. I that that's why I'm saying they should have done it in good faith, but right. they didn't. Right. So, so the I, actors, I could see I could see the actors being upset. Mm -hmm. Some sort of okay. Yeah, the contract is signed and sealed, but let's be honest. This we isn't. This isn't. This times. isn't normal. This isn't what what we expected in this in this contract. And to be such a to, to adhere to it so strictly and not make like some kind of amendment that's that is kind of crappy i mean i you you do feel a little bit like in some cases where people have been compensated greatly you're like stop being greedy. you're not really going to get much sympathy for me you still got 20 million dollars 
regardless of how well the film does. Yeah, regardless of how well the film did, you you, you made more money than I'll make in my entire freaking life. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that, you're, I'm, I was never really a fan. Yeah, you could have yeah. you could have gotten that out of the way in Black Widow. This is I still can't this. believe. I, it, did I completely miss the news that Emily Blunt was supposed to be in Black Widow? How did I not know that? Yeah, I heard that she was she was the first choice, but they were like the studio was like, no, you got to do Gulliver's Travels with Jack Black. With Jack Black, Jesus. So she couldn't get out of it. Wow. Oh. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Well, well, well then she'd be dub- she'd be doubly pissed because guess what? She would have missed out on two massive hits. <laughs> oh wait, but uh, do you think if Emily Blunt was Black Widow, do you think Scarlett Joe would have been Lily in this movie? Mm, I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah. This uh, Scarlett Johansson doesn't do films like this. Yeah, not really. Although she got tied into that sweet, sweet Disney MCU money. Yeah, she does the MCU stuff, but as far as that's like action adventure stuff. But as far as like kids movies, well, I mean, the MCU is a kids movie, but it's also for adults. Mm-hmm. This is uh, this is more of a this is definitely more on the kids side of the of the sure. of the coin sure anyway let's wrap it up i'd um, like to eat dinner me too i would too would give it a seven i think i said yes mm-hmm. yes so seven seven six and a half and eight i think it's still worth it although it could have gotten an eight if there wasn't any romance yes mm, yes. yes okay well, that's what made Pacific Rim so good because they kind of they yeah, they, yeah. they just hugged. hugged. That was that great, was brilliant. I love yeah. that. Thank you, Guillermo. Yeah, sometimes you, you don't, sometimes America you don't need not. to shoehorn a romance in there. Although I don't feel the romance in this one was shoehorned. I don't think it was shoehorned either. I think I agree with you. I think it was earned. <clears throat> I think they they definitely did the work to get to where they ultimately land. Yeah. And I like I like what you said. It's very much like the Mummy. Yeah. I think it and it definitely borrows from all those genres and it's 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 fun. I th- I thought it was fun. I had a great time watching it. I probably will watch it again because I've already paid my 29.99 but uh yeah, we can watch it as much as we want. Much as we like. For you said a that month. A, you said that about Raya. You said you'd watch it again but we never did. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's like on regular Disney Mortal Marvel, Kombat. Well, Mortal Kombat we can watch because that's HBO. Yeah, we can watch that whenever we want. Yeah, we can watch that whenever we want. All right, so let's wrap it up. That's it from us, and we will come back with another review soon. Good night. Good night. Night. Don't you have rocks up your butt, kids? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs>